Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking ahead just a little bit because it's a big day for FC25 news with official news from EA dropping on next year's game today. And it honestly seems that EA wants the hype to be going that way because the content right now in FC24 just continues to drag on with less than desirable content in SBCs and a lot of lack of content in other areas. But I want to talk about that today and how that could change a little bit with the stuff that they're going to talk about today, I believe. And I want to break down what to expect from EA and from myself when it comes to FC25 news. So if you're excited for the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about that content yesterday that was just slightly lackluster. The player SBC is really what makes me think of lackluster content. It was Ruben Vargas yesterday, a team of the tournament card. He was not leaked at all. So no Ake, no Mamadarshvili that we have had leaked that we were still waiting on. Four star, five star, high, high work rates. At least he's cheap. To be honest, guys, this SBC might be worth doing just for the 95 rated fodder card if you've got leftover 85s. But I have a feeling that right now, a lot of us don't have leftover fodder, unless you've maybe opened the store pack or something and spent those coins because the grind and the craft and the menus just isn't that great. You run out of gold rares so easily doing the 81 plus player picks. The 80 plus times three to replenish those gold rares isn't that great. It is definitely not the best menu grind out there at the moment. And I find myself even struggling to complete the 85 times fives often because of the lack of the player picks that I end up doing and the lack of fodder that I have. So we're hoping that that changes soon. Still, we have footies coming on Friday. I think a lot of that is going to change. But for right now, it's kind of like that lull, right? We talk about this often where the content goes goes in peaks and valleys and we feel like we're in a bit of a valley right now with the content which is even crazy to say honestly looking at who's in packs the pack weight for this promo team there could be so much more hype guys Messi, Bellingham, De Bruyne, Mbappe like it's a crazy promo team to be honest but these cards just seem virtually unpackable anyway there was a chance yesterday at actually packing a team of the tournament card and this SBC you know what it's there I know we mentioned in yesterday's video we, and we said if you need to save some of your fodder if you're low on fodder maybe you stay away from an SBC like this but honestly I did some, this one straight away yesterday just because it had the team of the tournaments included in it the 93 plus PTG make your mark or a team of the tournament pick and I was like hey here's an opportunity to make it maybe get a good team of the tournament pull from this pick and it's only 183,000 coins I say only and I packed a player from it it's probably worth like 30 or 40,000 coins honestly I was hopeful of a good team and tournament player but what I saw after opening a lot of these was and maybe you guys noticed this too the team of the tournament player weight was actually really high in these for the fodder cards we're talking Cadioglu, Califori, uh, Crepo, the goalkeeper from the Copa America team I'm packing these guys all the time um, not so much from player picks but when I'm packing a promo card it is these same guys Caicedo, Davison Sanchez, Aramburu right this Martinez card those cards were actually very plentiful from this pick I know some people had some pretty good pulls from PTG or from Make Your Mark. So it's worth an attempt if you have the fodder. It's out for a whole week as well. So if you don't get it done right now, if you're saving your packs maybe for footies a little bit, you could get it done then. That's a decent SBC though for a chance. It's a gamble, right? Gamble Tuesday SBC. We'll take it. It's decent. Now, speaking of this SBC, it did make fodder move a lot. Because, so you can tell there are a lot of people that want to do this SBC. Take a look at 86s. Kavadet Skelia basically moved just like all of the 86s did yesterday from 6,000 coins all the way to 8k up 2,000 coins in value just because of that one player pick SBC dropping yesterday I do believe that 87s went up as well I'm going to talk about it a little bit later on there's there maybe is another investment potential for some of these cards today even though they're inflated we're going to get another SBC pack today I believe a guaranteed pack and also the refresh of the icon SBC so maybe if you're looking to make a quick trade some of this fodder with weekend lead rewards being paid out early this morning might be a way to do that but of course it is up and today will be probably the best day to sell some of this gold fodder before we hand into footy 
hoodies and the packs that'll be opened this weekend. Now that was all of the content, to be completely honest, that was dropped yesterday. It was just those SBCs and that was it. No evolutions, nothing along those lines. But there were other things happening, of course. We're talking about the market. As expected, prices are dropping on these team in the tournament cards. Conte was under 500k just a minute ago. He was 600,000 coins yesterday. Uh, Gakpo's in the low 400k range. Bellingham's almost 3.1. De Bruyne was just under a mil. He was 1.2 last night. A lot of these cards just continue to slowly drop down. Like if you look at a lot of their graphs, from yesterday. Valverde 630k. He wasn't he 730? Yeah, from 700k yesterday down to 621. He was actually 730 and 750 on Monday. Uh, so a little bit earlier than that. But a lot of these cards are just looking like this. It's just a slow drop down on a lot of their values. And I honestly think that's going to continue today as well. The closer that we get to footies and with all the news and info that's coming out today, I'm personally taking this week kind of like off of trading. It's, it's good sometimes to not be super involved in the market. I've bought and sold a couple of cards, but really not that much because I know with footies upcoming, there's a risk out there and the prices just continually seem to drop on these new team and tournament cards. So I'm just kind of waiting. But when footies kicks off this weekend, guys, things are going to step up. Things are going to be popping on the market once again with the hype being for footies, with whatever's in packs, with whatever panic selling we have, there's going to be movement. There's going to be cards that are moving in price. So we will be there. But right now, the market is just kind of chilling and it's going downwards and I'm staying pretty much out of it. Also yesterday, a lot of people were asking about XP. And I think I want to speak to that really quick because um, I understand the last season XP felt like it was nowhere. And at the start of this season as well, it feels like it's a little bit slim, but I think we also have to adjust our expectations a little bit, right? This season is all about footies, right? Season eight, it's the footies players. I don't think EA wants us before footies is actually released to get too many of these footies cards in our ultimate teams. I don't know what level you guys are right now. I know a lot of people are probably getting close to level five and getting Fabinho. Maybe some of you guys have gotten Mertens, but I'm pretty sure nobody's passed like level eight or nine. I mean, this has only been out for a few days now. So honestly, I think we'll start to see more XP and I think this season progress will really start to kick off once we get into this weekend. They'll drop some more stuff. There's a lot of stuff, SBC-wise and objective-wise, that is expiring this weekend, guys. And this Friday or sometime Thursday or Friday, a lot of stuff is expiring. The exchanges are going away. A lot of the upgrade packs that, are, that have been out for a long time. So I'm really curious to see how the XP stuff does with that and some of the SBC content. We'll be talking about that soon. But I just think I don't... I don't think EA wants people progressing too fast to start things off before footies is even off here or out here. That's why I think they haven't been dropping much XP. Now, a couple other small things to note. You maybe saw this card on the front page of Footbin garnering a lot of hype yesterday. And this is yet again another example of a mistake with price ranges. Jonathan David is around a 600,000 coin card. And yesterday, EA, he had a price range of 2.9 mil. We'll just preface that. He had a price range of 2.9 million coins. And right here in the middle of the day, he went from 600,000 coin 630k he had one spike up to a million and then ea changed his price range all the way down from 2.9 million coins to 650 so like right where he was selling out on the market uh he went like crazy high in price and then people started listing his card up again because really he's worth about 650k right now i'm not saying this price range is like wrong it's just like that's his price is like his max so i just don't know why ea did that another example of price ranges being messed up on this game. And I really, really hope that some of that gets changed for FC 25. And then also yesterday, we had some really weird movements on Vinny Jr.'s gold card. I don't know if there's Evo leaks that are going around. This guy was 47,000 coins and at content drop, he was basically 65K. His max price is 70,000 coins. So he was up a bunch. So I don't know if there's fake Evo leaks or if there's real ones, uh, but to be completely honest, I am not investing in that and be very careful. If you are, that was just a little bit of something suspect I wanted to mention from yesterday's market movements. Now, let's talk about FC25, guys, because today is a big reveal day. And again, I think maybe that's the why the content's been a little bit mid because of what is coming in EA want to build up into that. Now, yesterday, 
actually two days ago now, EA's already started revealing some of the stuff that we are going to see today with FC 25. They already revealed the Ultimate Edition cover. I'm seeing, I'm sure you've seen this floating around Twitter or in the thumbnail of the video today. Uh, it's all about the players that are inside of it. Of course, this kind of confirms that Buffon is going to be an icon in FC 25. And when EA posted this a couple of days ago, they also said the full reveal was going to be on the 17th. That's kind of what we're looking forward to today. The official reveal trailer, which is going to be pushed live on YouTube. You can see here it's premiering at 11.57 a.m. my time, which is about basically one hour before content today on Wednesday. That is going to be the release time for this. Now, official reveal trailer. Woohoo. What is this actually going to bring for us? What are we actually going to learn from this? I'm not expecting anything super crazy, guys. I mean, this is kind of the rollout that they do each and every year. This is like the first trailer that they'll drop of the game. There will probably be some Easter eggs, though, just being completely honest, um, because even inside of the cover art of the logo, people were tweeting yesterday, and we'll talk about that in a second, how EA might be hiding some things in here that we have to learn yet that might actually tell us more about some stuff that's coming in FC 25. I would expect some of the same with the official revealed trailer today, maybe like skill moves or maybe some features that are going to be added that we'll see inside of gameplay or some sort of new mechanic or button press so, uh, combination or something like that. Watch that today. There'll be definitely some stuff I think we can pick out of that and find. Um, what would be massive is though, if we had pitch notes. The pitch notes, guys, obviously are some of our favorite documents to read through because that gives us a whole lot of detail, a whole lot of information and news related to new stuff that is coming to FC 25. I really hope that we get those today. Um, I am expecting EA's website. This is the FC 25 website. I would expect this to get updated at least. If we don't get pitch notes today, then I would expect that we get some pictures. I remember last year, right, when we learned about evolutions for the first time, that was something that we were looking at and talking about that was mentioned in a few things. Uh, but the pitch notes also get released kind of as we go throughout the summer. So I'm really curious to see how much information that we actually get today. Um, but I do expect to see pre-orders starting today. I bet there's going to be stuff here in the game. There's going to be in the menus. And of course, at the end of the revealed trailer, I would almost guarantee you that pre-orders are going to start for this game today. And along with the pre-order, there are leaks that it might contain stuff in FC 25, like pre-order bonuses, but also a pack in FC 20. Four. And I want to talk about that. Actually, we'll talk about it right now because the pack has been added to the code and it's a pretty good pack, guys. It is an FC25 pre-order offer pack. It's in the game. It's in the code, which makes me think if you were to pre-order the game today, you might get the pack today. That would be my biggest question is how soon is that pack actually given out? There's probably going to be some fine print that we'll have to read through, but it guarantees you a greats of the game icon or hero pack, which to be completely honest with all the greats of the game icons and heroes, we know about this, specifically the icons, that is a pretty good pack. So W marketing, to be completely honest from EA, to give us a pack currently in this game, it's going to be pretty good. And then also, there's going to be some sort of hero reward, I think, in FC25, according to the leaks that we saw on Twitter, uh, that we will be getting, of course, with a pre-order as well. So I just wanted to mention that because that could be actually a part of today's content. Now, speaking of the Easter eggs and going back to the cover of the game for a second, there was a couple of really interesting tweets yesterday from quotes, actually, from a leaker on Twitter about a EA staff member, which I think was quoted here, David Jackson, VP of brand. I don't know who this guy is, but evidently he's got some knowledge and he's talking about stuff. I don't know where he was talking, but these guys got the leaks somehow about it. And he says here, there's a lot of little Easter eggs like that in all various different bits of paraphernalia. Our fans will go through every single piece in order to understand how we've composed the shot. So basically he's saying in here, there is stuff inside of this picture on the ultimate edition cover that is kind of hinting at maybe obviously Buffon. that's not very hidden right that's very obvious but other things in here like people are pointing out this jersey over here on the right side of the wall here that it actually could be a new hero or icon coming to the game um, i'm gonna try to find the guy who it was because i was not familiar with the name it was a manchester united striker but i was not familiar with the name of the player who it was frank stapleton yes frank stapleton ireland striker the shirt on the right is from manchester united 1983 1984 he played in the premier league for man u and arsenal so that's kind of what people are thinking is that this number nine over here with the 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 color on the sleeves that is what that kit is 
I mean, it's very obvious. It's pretty big on the side of the image. So like that sort of stuff as a potential Easter egg is something that we think we know. Maybe that gets confirmed today with official news. We will have to see. This is the other one. This is probably the biggest leak that we have had so far. The same David Jackson, VP of brand guy says Maradona was in the game. After he died, there was a challenge around who owned his estate, so we had to remove him. Guys, that was exactly what people in the community thought was the issue with Maradona and why they had to remove him from the game. If you remember that a couple years back, that was a crazy situation. All the Maradona cards like went extinct. They were nowhere on the market because people were like, this is our chance to use him, and they wanted to go and buy him before he was no longer in packs and no longer on the market. Uh, they said it will be resolved soon, and then he could come back in. So there's hints from this direct EA guy saying this, that Maradona could be back in the AFC. And thank goodness, because I'm tired of seeing Argentine walkouts and animations in my icon packs and it only being Zanetti or Raquel May, unless I'm forgetting about somebody that they added. But I need Maradona back in this game, man. That would be absolutely phenomenal. And of course, what a player, deservedly an icon. RIP Maradona. So there's a lot of other leaks though, and I know you guys have seen them. I've seen them as well. We've discussed them a little bit, but I think there's going to be a lot of information today, guys. We're going to have to stay tuned to all of that to see what EA confirms from the leaks that we have seen, maybe some new stuff. And guys, I'll also be able to share personally. I said in the intro that I will have some information to share today too. I will be able to share where I was last week and what I was able to to do. So I'm really excited for that as well to talk to, with you guys about FC 25 news and information. So we're going to be reacting the trailer today on stream, talking about it all, what we see. If we get any pitch notes and information, we'll be deep diving into those. So it's a lot of looking forward today for FC 25. Hopefully some really good things are confirmed and a lot of positivity is seen around the changes. We'll just have to see though. So let's look at other Wednesday content today. Of course, we mentioned that pack that could be a part of the pre-order that could give you that guaranteed grade to the game icon. That's possible, right? But Wednesdays are also guaranteed pack days and uh, we already have a pack in the code. A lot of people may have missed this, but this pack right here, the PTG Make Your Mark or Team of the Tournament Guarantee was added about a week ago actually. Uh, this pack, I think, is dropping today because it includes a team of tournament players in it. I think that's going to be our SBC that does drop today. Hopefully, it's a bit cheaper than the 93 plus because actually, if you think about it, that is like the exact same type of pack as the 93 plus was that we got yesterday, except it's not a pick and there's no rating minimum. So this could be a lot cheaper as it should be, but it also might even be more fodder. So I would rather take the player pick over the pack to be completely honest, but that could mean that lower rated fodder like 84s and fives could move today as well. If you're really trying to get involved with the market and make some coins, I think that SBC will be today dropping into this game and uh, fodder could be going up. So if you want to get on some bids, I already mentioned this, but just to double down on it, if you want to get on some bids, 84s and 5s, and maybe even 86s, with weekend league rewards being paid out tradable this morning, you're going to have a little bit of extra supply. Could be getting in on those, trying to make some coins, selling them after the content drop when prices go up. Now, speaking of prices going up on fodder, there's another SBC that's refreshing today that is going to bring some of those prices up, and that is the Icon Player Pick, right? That good Icon Player Pick, the 92 Plus that contains all of the greats of the game icons. That could be, or that is, refreshing today as well. That's not a could-be situation. That is a positive situation. You can see it here in the menus, and Icon Player Picks always drop and refresh on uh, Wednesdays as well. Yep, 12 hours from now. So at content time, that'll be refreshing. And again, that's a bit of a higher rated one here. 87, 8, and 90 rated squads. So you might see, again, some of those 88 and aboves spiking after content today too. Probably a pretty good time to sell those before footies for sure. Now, SBC players, you guys know, Mamadarshvili and Nathan Ake are still not released into this game after we had the Vargas SBC yesterday that we were not leaked to have at all. We were a little surprised to see. So we got a Wednesday and we have a Thursday left. I bet we see both of those guys unless EA have changed th some things up. And the last thing that we'll maybe look out for today would be some more footies leaks. Like, uh, footies, hello, it's Wednesday. We are two days away from this promo. Um, I don't think that the guys uh, with the leaks are holding stuff back from us. I don't feel that way at all. 
But uh, it just seems a little bit weird that we have no leaks, not even about like who's going to be re-released in packs, not even about if footies players are going to be in packs or not. Um, all we have about footies cards is that the premium cards give better chemistry than the normal footies. Um, I think there was a tweet yesterday. Actually, you know what? Let me pull this up because this wasn't some information that I remembered just now about footies. I think it was Foot Police Leaks who tweeted it. Footy's chemistry system, plus two chemistry stars for the nation, team, and league for the regular Footy's cards. Oh, and the Footy's premium cards get three stars of chemistry for the player, so they're automatically on full chem. Okay, that's good to know. That's actually really helpful. So even the regular Footy's cards get plus two chemistry. Maybe they figured that out from people getting Guru Retin already from level nine. I'm not entirely sure, but of course, people who have gotten Fabinho from level five would be able to see, I'm guessing he's on three chemistry points automatically. So that's cool. We love the extra chemistry boost for those footies cards, but I'm really starting to get curious about, hey, what's footies going to look like? Are we going to have voting? Are we going to have daily player SBCs? Are we going to have footies cards in packs or are they going to go back to the old footies and not have them in packs? I hope we get some more info today, but we do know we're at least getting a lot of FC25 info, guys. So stay tuned for more extra videos potentially on the channel today and a lot of discussion going forward. So if you enjoyed today's video, and if you're looking forward to FC25 even just a little bit, even if you're a little skeptical just to see what it's going to bring to the table, I'm right there with you. All right, I'm right there with you. Drop a thumbs up on the video if that's you. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and comment down below if you have any questions. I'll catch you guys in a stream today. That link's down below in the description. It's been Nathan with Accountants. See you guys there. Have a great Wednesday. Peace out.